Well, I'm so happy to be joined by Nick and Christina Boyle. Guys, thanks so much for your time. Uh, I wanted to catch up with you today because we're announcing that you guys have made a sizable donation. You've donated 75,000 meals to the Maryland Food Bank. So on behalf of everyone who's in need of that in Baltimore, I think everyone, I'll say thanks to everybody who's, who's going to receive those meals. So just to start, what was it that made you want to make that kind of donation? Um, I'll go first. So basically, uh, we've had a lot of time on our hands lately. Uh, been taking a lot of walks with Christina, with the baby and the dogs. Um, been watching a lot of news. And just with everything going on, you know, around today, um, with people in need of food, with people, uh, you know, not being able to work and not being able to have money to buy food, uh, I imagine put myself in that position, which thinking, what if I had to worry about food, which for fortunately I do not have to. Um, and so just thinking about that made me kind of sick to my stomach and uh, really want to reach out and help those people who are worrying about food, who are hungry, um, even little kids, uh, families, older people, anyone who needs to have a meal, I think should just have a meal without being able to worry. And Christina, I know that the Ravens have been partners with the Maryland Food Bank for a long time. I'm curious, have you guys had past interactions with them that made you say, you know what, this is where we want to, if we're making a donation, this is where we want to make that kind of contribution? Well, we actually haven't um, volunteered directly with the Maryland Food Bank, but we have um, volunteered with the Transformation Center, which is um, in Brooklyn, in Baltimore. And um, they get, I actually reached out to them and they get a lot of their food from the Maryland Food Bank. So we figured, you know, if we can help the Maryland Food Bank, we, we can help a lot of other organizations too. And, and Christina, I know that you're a nurse. So what has this time been like for you? I know that you've been on maternity leave because you guys have, have a, you know, a baby boy at home who I want to ask you about in a minute. But um, what has this been like for you knowing that friends and coworkers are, are literally in the middle of this fight? I have been in contact with a lot of my nursing friends and it's just so sad what the conditions they're working in, long hours, the patients that they're having to care for. And um, tying back to the Maryland Food Bank, I'm actually a pediatric psych nurse and I was working in a school setting up until my maternity leave. And I know a lot of the kids there, um, they, they depend on school for a hot meal. And it just breaks my heart to think that with schools being closed, they're not getting that hot meal. And um, it, that's just one of the things that we wanted to help out with, you know, the kids and the families and I just miss my kids a lot. And I thought, you know, if that can help a little bit, the community here, then a little goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And Nick, I think maybe one small good thing that has come out of all of this are things like what you're doing. You know, I had a chance to talk with Willie Sneed yesterday. He's somebody who's also made, you know, a donation. Has it been good to see kind of your teammates and other athletes around the sports world organizations making contributions to charitable donations and to charitable organizations to try to help people who are in need during this time? Yeah, I think that uh, is extremely important. I think we've done a really good job of that. Um, there's always more we can do, but I think doing this, is showing that we really truly care about the community we're in uh the community that you know willie doesn't always live around baltimore but he plays here and this is where he wants you know to put his donation and his help so and you've seen numerous players all around the nfl uh donating to help people who are hungry or whatever way they need help and i just think it's important because it shows that we truly care we truly care about you know those people who are hungry or who may need are probably fans and supporters of the team we play in that city and uh, those are the people who feel us on the field and you know, who care for us and, and you know, want us to, to do well and to do great. And, you know, for us to support them, I think that's huge. So for both of you guys, I know you have a four month old son right around four months, Brock. Yeah. So what's it been like over the past month when you're spending all the time at home? I'm sure on one hand, it's really nice to have that time together. Yeah. On the other <laughs> hand, I'm sure you really cherish getting outside and taking those walks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The only time we really get outside of them is to take walks, but you know, it's sad. We can't see our family. I feel like they're missing him grow, but it's okay. The more we stay inside, the quicker this will all be over. I mean, see, I get a dad reading like every single day to see yeah. how good I do. It's been interesting, but you know, it's been awesome because I've just spent so much time with them and to see him grow. Even though he's only four months old, you know, they make such big strides and you know, when they're learning, grabbing things and uh, it's just really fun and happy to see. Christina, how's Nick doing with the diaper changes? Uh, um, F on that. It depends, you know. If I want to do it. See the thing, if, if like if she's available, she could do it. But I could do it the best, you know. I just don't always want to have to do it. Life is competition. 
So, yeah. I mean, we compete in every way. Who puts him to sleep the fastest? Who's better? Who can see him stop crying? It's always good to compete. You know, it makes you better. That's awesome. Makes the days go on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, what have you guys been, other than that aspect, how have you been spending this time? Are you watching a bunch of shows, or what are you guys doing to spend this time? <laughs> he takes that for a whole dogs. day, really. Yeah. You I mean, go outside with the dogs. Work yard work. Uh, I still have to work out, you know. To, uh, we fostered a dog. Oh, yeah, we did foster a dog. <laughs> wow. I didn't want to get rid of the dog. We fostered a dog. He finally left, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, he did get adopted to his forever home. Yeah. But, nice. uh, you know, we're just working out, just doing what everyone else is doing. You know, you see a lot of people outside wanting to get fresh air, wanting to get out. Um, I work on RC cars. I work on the yard. We spend time with each other. We spend time with our dogs. And that's really basically it. <laughs> nice. Well, one thing that's going to be coming up uh, is these virtual OTAs. Uh, what do you think about that, Nick? How's that going to go? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I don't think we really know too much about it yet. But, uh, you know, if this is how we're going to be having our meetings and learning, you know, reinstalling the playbooks and all that kind of stuff. It's it's definitely different, but I think it's it's something good because of the, you know, predicament we're in, which we can't be by each other, but we still want to do something. We still need to learn. We still need to get better. And, I mean, I still FaceTime my teammates all the time, so it'll be like the same thing just in a group setting. And I think that's fun. You know, the big thing is, is I miss all my teammates. I miss my friends. I miss the time to the locker room right now. And, you know, that would be coming up in the springtime, you know, the OTAs and building upon that, being able to see everybody. So I think it's a good thing. It'll definitely be different. It'll definitely be a learning curve. But, uh, you know, any any direction we try to do to reach out, talk to each other and get better, I think it's a good one. That's great. Well, guys, it's really awesome what you're doing. I know there's so many families that are going to be impacted by – your donation and so thank you from you know the for the city of baltimore what you're doing and uh nick i look forward to seeing you in person and guys good luck with those grades you know as you're dealing with the parenting <laughs> stuff we'll see what she gets today i mean i hope she does well <laughs> thank awesome you. thank you so much awesome guys thank you